Hello, Forest Hill family. I'm Pastor Daniel Blaylock, and I'm here to talk to you about the reopening plan for us coming back on campus. I am so excited about the governor's announcement this week, allowing churches to begin to gather again in their sanctuary spaces. Now, here's our plan for the upcoming week. We will continue to worship this Sunday, Mother's Day, online as part of our um, festivities. We hope you got to join us today for our parking lot service. It was wonderful. We had some great surprises. We found a creative way to celebrate the Mother's Day brunch and uh, still give gifts to moms, so we're thankful for that. But next Sunday is going to be very different. Next Sunday, we will begin regathering here in the Forest Hill Sanctuary. I know you're pleased. I know that I am. I'm ready to see all of you. Everything is not exactly back to normal, but we will be gathering here. Let me explain how that's going to work. Next Sunday morning, we will be meeting in two different Sunday morning services. There will be a 9 o'clock service and an 11 o'clock service. We're urging our senior adults and those who would be in an at-risk category because of having an immune system that is perhaps compromised, we want you to really consider the 9 o'clock service. Uh, our building is going to be deep cleaned this week. Our custodial staff is already meeting. They've already purchased supplies from a local company that has um, been proven to be a good, strong disinfectant that is effective on COVID-19. We are deep cleaning all of our spaces this week. Uh, we will have our sanctuary ready to go. We will be cleaning between services as well. But as you know, the first service will probably be the safest or the cleanest that the building will be all day during that day. So we invite our senior adults to join us for the nine o'clock service. We will have service for about one hour. Uh, both of the services will be mirrored services. So the content of the services will be the same. The music, the preaching, the children's moment, everything will be the same in both AM services. So it doesn't matter which one you pick, they're not gonna be different in that way, okay? When you come on campus that day, we're asking everyone to enter through the front foyer. We're going to enter that way, and when you come, uh, an usher or a greeter will take you in and immediately find you a seat in the sanctuary. We will be practicing social distancing. So that means that you can sit with your immediate family who traveled in the car with you, and we will sit the next family six feet away from you at least on the pew. We will also be skipping every other pew because that will give us the six feet that we need between one another that direction. In order to do this, we will be using every other pew for the first service. Then we will reverse and use the pews we didn't use in the first service for the second service. We believe this will help us to keep everything clean. Still, we will be wiping down surfaces and cleaning restrooms and foyers in between the nine o'clock and the 11 o'clock service. Either service you attend, we're doing the very best we can to make sure it is safe and everything is clean and ready for you. You are welcome to wear a mask if you would like. Uh, we do not require that or insist upon it, but it certainly is your choice, and we would love for you to do that. We also would remind you that we have an amazing online experience that's going to be happening. Our media team has been doing a great job with our pre-recorded services, and we're working hard this week to make sure that our live experience is also just as good as the experience you've been having at home. So if you are not ready to return to campus yet, that's okay. We understand that. Everyone is not prepared to come back with us just now. And we understand that. That's okay. There's no judgment from us, however you choose to gather with us. We're just glad you're gathering. Both the 9 o'clock and the 11 o'clock services will be live streamed here beginning this Sunday morning, so you can attend. Another thing that you need to know is if you have children, these services will be family-style services. That means we will not have a nursery. We will not have kids' church available. We will have our mother cry rooms available uh, for your assistance during that time, but we will be sitting together as families. Pastor Austin will be stepping up in both services for about a five minute, 10 minute children's devotion where he will share an object lesson with them, something to drive the point of the day's lesson home with them that will match the sermon that I'm gonna be delivering to our adults as well that day. We'll also keep our services around the one hour mark uh, to help with that. That will give us time to get you in and out and safely clean between services. And it also won't be too long for our families to sit together in a family style service. So we're doing our very best to make, uh, to make this work so that we can gather on campus again. There's one more piece of information that I really want you to know and that's this. We need you to pre-register if at all possible for which service you were attending. And there are a couple ways you can do that. Beginning this Tuesday, you can either call the office 
uh, call the office at 342-0233 and you can speak with one of our secretaries and let them know which service you're planning to attend and how many people will be in your party. And they will register you that way. The other way to do it will be Tuesday morning, you'll be able to go online to our church website at foresthillcog.org and you will be able to digitally register your family for a certain number of seats and uh, which service you plan to attend. These things will help us to keep uh, both services below the maximum number that we know we can safely seat with social distancing. Um, if at all possible, please let us know that you're coming and which service. That will greatly help us, okay? We're very excited about you coming back on campus with us. Those of you who are ready to take that step, I think it's going to be a wonderful time together. I know I'm eager for that. Many of you are eager to do that. But again, if you are at risk, if you are symptomatic and you've been having uh, sickness, uh, or if you are just still anxious about getting out and about in the midst of, um, of the COVID-19 crisis, we invite you to watch from home. We invite you to come and wear a mask. Whatever makes you comfortable, we're just glad you're here with us. Again, this Sunday, two services, call and pre-register. That's the big idea today. And we're doing everything that we can on our side to make sure that it's going to be a safe and wonderful time of worship together next Sunday, May 17th here at The Hill. God bless you. Hope to see you there.